Hi, this is Professor Bills with your Ultimate Calculator Review. I've tried, tested, and used almost every calculator known to mankind. This is only one-tenth of the calculators that I own. Yes, my wife isn't really happy about it. <laughs> but anyways, um, starting out with uh, the ca my favorite calculator, uh, honestly, is the Casio Super FX Plus. This is fully programmable, holds several hundred pre-built equations, and is and does 21 by 21 matrices. It quite literally got me for, through a semester of four math classes. Yes, I did take four math classes. I don't recommend anybody do that, but uh, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Moving on, I would, uh, in the graphing calculator world, I would purchase the uh, TI-84 or the, uh, and maybe a TI-89. Sorry, yes, I know. I'm I'm kind of flip-flopping in terms of graphing calculators, but the TI-84 is is the workhorse of the calculator world. Yes, I'm sorry, all you HP fans. I didn't choose your black and white calculator, which is which rivals the TI-89 calculator and is pretty much uh, does a lot of the same functions. Uh, but the TI-89. Due to the Calculus Made Easy programs that you can download is more advanced than than any of the HP calculators. But definitely this calculator is allowed in most mostly every testing center and you won't have any headaches, which I love. Uh, but if you want, you can actually go through and get a TI Inspire with a calculator or a TI-84 uh calculator board yet yeah, this board is actually removable and it yeah, you can swap it out with a TI-84 calculator board which is the same layout as this one definitely a, a, a great calculator I could do you could save all your notes to it I've quite literally walked into the testing center with almost a hundred pages of notes on this calculator it is a beast and I don't know why people don't use that function but that's that that functionality of a graphing calculator and saving notes and I totally recommend that everybody learn it I'll probably be teaching it in future videos on how on how to cheat with calculators and yes you could quite literally cheat with scientific calculators I will post videos hundreds of videos showing you different methods on how to save notes on scientific calculators and I I saved it saved my butt a couple of times. Moving on to your super advanced calculators, um, the Voyager. Oh, what a beast. This one is like a TI-89. Same functionality, same almost everything, except bigger screen. And I, I love it. <laughs> it's not allowed in any of my testing exams, and it doesn't look like a calculator, which sucks. But... It is truly a, a work of art. When when I would buy this one over a TI-89 if it were allowed on tests any day. Um, the next si um, advanced calculator that I would purchase would probably be the uh, TI Inspire. It is truly a work of art. Uh, there are several problems with it in terms of programming. The they are not as clean as the HP Prime and finally the ultimate calculator touch screen um, it, it is super fast and you can navigate through almost anything and even if you're like stuck on an exam I've I have been able to uh, whip out this calculator and uh, piece together a math equation and I could teach you how to do that it's it's truly a great calculator. I don't know if I would go with um, the TI Inspire over it. The TI Inspire does have the calculus made easy or, and differential equations easy. Uh, all, the, all of those programs that you can download to it. Um, and it does have the keyboard. But sadly enough, it is not allowed in my testing center. And I'm pretty confident it isn't allowed in your testing center. So this is the one that you should buy. It has a basic layout and looks like a regular calculator. 
and they don't know that it's actually a touch screen and oh I I got away with so much with this calculator. You could download PDF documents to this calculator. It's hilarious. I I love it. Anyways, um that's that's it with my calculator review. Please sure to like and subscribe. I will be posting hundreds of videos on calculators. I just got started and uh, I guess that's it. Bye.